Hey, it's Chris with LG Squared at the High Performance Home in Marietta, Georgia. And this video is about interior air sealing of doors and windows. Uh, we've got all flanged windows here. These are the Elevate series from Marvin Windows and Doors. And our air sealing detail involves uh, tape rather than a sealant or a foam. We've used both and uh, for many years now, we've considered foam to be a four letter word and also an F word. So we, uh, we, we either use a sealant or a tape and uh, the sealant we've used in the past is called Air Dam by Prosico. It's a very durable uh, product. It's vapor open and does an extremely good job of, uh, of air sealing that, or of sealing that gap between the, the frame and the rough opening. When you have rough openings though, that are when the, when the window detail uh, and the construction of it leave you gaps like one inch here, or in this case, three quarter inch, you end up with having to use a lot of Baccarat and a lot more sealant. And that sealant is not, uh, it's not inexpensive. Um, they're roughly about 20 to, 20 to $30 a tube and sometimes when you have a gap like this, you may end up using an entire tube on, on a window. So we've, we've chosen a tape. Uh, again, both are very reliable. Both we like, like using. This is called Tescon Profil. It's from uh, Proclima, which is a German company. We've used it several times on projects and we just love the results. And when you have a gap like this and like this, the tape works out so much better uh, even even in smaller gaps, the tape is a fine solution. I want to show you how we've done it, how we've installed this tape on this project, and how we're going to deal with um, with the drywall trade to make sure they don't damage that tape when they come in and install their drywall. Because we know that we all know that drywallers tend to come in and they they work very quickly, and it's hard to get them to pay attention to some things that maybe they're not so familiar with, like an air sealing tape that they could easily cut with their tools and cause that, uh, that air barrier to be compromised. So let's go inside now and take a look at how the, the air sealing tape is attached and how we've got that detailed to prevent damage from other trades uh, moving forward. So here's what that uh, tape looks like. It's about two and a quarter inches wide and it's got uh, three pieces of paper on the back that uh, you can peel one at a time and you start off by peeling off the, the narrowest strip first and you run it um, about three-eighths of an inch. We, we're doing three-eighths of an inch from the inside of the frame here and so that our our trim detail, our trim will be one quarter inch from here and start and run down here. It's just standard three and a quarter, three and a half inch wide trim uh, sides and bottom. And um, so we start three eighths of an inch down here from the inside of the frame, and then we span that uh, the gap between the frame and the rough opening. And so once that's secured really well, you've got overlaps here, and so it secures really well to itself. And then of course it sticks really well to just to everything. Um, I've had sometimes when I've tried to take some of this off of framing, and it's so strong that it will splinter. And just splinter the wood and bring those splinters with it. It's, as I mentioned about the drywallers, they um, they'll come in really quickly and want to just throw their sheets of drywall, kind of cover up, uh, cover over the window, and then they'll take their tool and just run around around the opening to get their opening in the drywall instead of cutting it before they put it up in place. It saves them some time. So to prevent any damage to this tape, which you can you can see, it would be pretty easy to cut that cut that tape with with their little with their tools. Um, we've installed this one and a half inch wide strip of plywood that covers the edge of the tape, and they can run their their plywood their drywall right right across this plywood, and then their tool they'll use this as a guide around the window. So they can just slap that that drywall right over the top of there, run there, find the edge of that plywood, and then just zip all around that window, and they've got their opening. 
Thanks for watching this video on interior air sealing of doors and windows. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get our weekly updates. We like to try to get something out there that's new and exciting uh, or at least interesting uh, on a weekly basis. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time.